Have you ever tried to reunite a chick but didn't know how or what to do? It can be rather daunting with so many dangers for small, vulnerable young birds. But knowing wild bird behaviour and following some simple steps will help you with your success at reuniting chicks. My name is Kim and I have been an Australian wildlife rehabilitator for the last 15 years. Over the last few years, I have been recording my attempts and success in reuniting young chicks with their parents and flock. The following presentation will show you how I have done this and provide some tips and information along the way. I have found that a successful reuniting of a chick with its family is one of the most rewarding feelings you can have as a wildlife carer. So don't give up because we all love a happy ending. Following up with the person who found the chick is a good opportunity to educate their family about wildlife they find around their home and how to live in harmony. They may provide information that is helpful to you when reuniting. And they may be able to keep an eye on the chick once reunited and call you if there are any further issues or questions. Our busiest season for chicks that come into care are spring and summer. If healthy, the best chance of survival is to be reunited with their parents and flock. Because even with the best of care, we cannot teach them the essential life skills for their species. But there are a few basics for reuniting. We must know the exact rescue location. We cannot reunite them without it. Sometimes this requires some detective work. The member of public or rescuer will be able to tell you where they found it. They may be able to send you a map with the location and may want to see the chick being reunited. A vet may be able to pass the rescuer's details or call them and ask for the rescue location. You must have the correct species identification. Placing a chick in another species nest or hollow will cause them to be attacked, injured or may be killed. Sometimes this is difficult, particularly with unfeathered chicks. The member of public may be able to give you some idea of the species they see around their home. But double check just to make sure. Unfeathered chicks should always be referred to your coordinator or experienced carer that has the correct equipment. A chick must be fit and healthy. Sometimes I keep a young bird for a few days to make sure they have a little more fitness and put on some extra weight. The sooner the chick is reunited, the better. Different species have different time spans, so this will need to be based on a case-by-case -case scenario. When reuniting, the best time for diurnal chicks is early morning and at dusk for nocturnal chicks. It may take you 10 minutes or you may need to go back a few times. Make sure your chick is hungry and calling as this will attract the adults. If the chick is attacked by the flock, it will need to be raised in care. Do not try to reunite in extreme weather. That is heat above 40 degrees, storms, winds or in heavy rain. If in doubt, ask your experienced member or your coordinator.